Good noon, everybody. I guess it's afternoon, right? There's only about a second before it's good afternoon. There's no good noon right on the dot, right? Uh, my name is Megan, and this is my great friend Ryan. Uh, what you just heard was called Nai Harua, which is a traditional Indian folk song that my friend Aditya Prakash actually taught it to me. Um, it's about, it, it's a poem, and I don't really read the language, but I do know it's about a place of unknown, where you're going to a place, you don't quite know what it is, and there's, there's kind of this hope and ease and um, kind of feeling towards a place that you're longing to go to. So um, that was obviously normally performed on um, Indian vocalist, sometimes violin, which is actually introduced later in 1800s, but vocal with a tambura, which you kind of hear this drony sound is a really, really cool instrument. And um, I just thought we, none of us play that instrument. And so I've got Ryan here on the accordion that's just drony as the tambura. Uh, what you're going to see in your program today is there's actually quite a bit of very different kind of music. So the first tune we opened was this meditational Indian folk song. The next piece we have is Libertango from Argentina, arranged by, actually, we kind of did it together, but originally arranged by Ryan Wyman.
I had the privilege of going on tour this past year with a really great composer named David Arkenstone. He is uh, known, a lot of his Celtic music is known through video game music, such as uh, War World of Warcraft. He also wrote some of the tunes in Braveheart. So getting to work with him, uh, who has been writing music since the 70s with tons of catalog, tons of CDs, vinyls, everything everywhere. And we got to tour Arizona, Colorado. We did uh, two different tours, and we're hoping to do more in the future. Um, I just, I fell in love working with this man. I learned so much about playing his Celtic, but with a modern twist tune. So this next tune is by David. We never got to play it on tour. Uh, because it was a tune that we just kind of chatted up in this really hot RV that the AC broke down. It's a whole different story. You ask me later. But he told me that uh, there's this tune called Legend of Bell Rock. You should check it out. And I listened to it. I transcribed it. And I write a sound check. I play for David. And he goes, this is great. Now the rest of the band has to learn it. Well, the rest of the band never learned it. So we never got to play it. But here I am. I wrote it out for, um, for this week's show. Here's Legend of Bell Rock.
I have one last piece on the program for you, and that is another original of mine called Catharsis. Uh, I went to school for classical violin at the Cleveland Institute of Music, and over there, you learn classical music. You learn to be an orchestral musician. You learn your orchestra excerpts, how to audition, how to walk into the audition room not wearing heels because it's blind audition. They don't want to know if it's a man or a woman. Uh, it's a very kind of different way of looking at music. And so I never learned how to uh, write music because I thought my degree is in violent performance. Writing music is not violent performance. So I was around, I, I would play a lot of music by other composers, I would um, study on the side watching how they do things, but always felt like, ah, that's not my degree. Until maybe five years ago, I finally decided, I'm going to start writing music, because being around the jazz community, it is all about writing and composing and performing your music. And so I, I mean, I'm always super grateful getting to play with Ryan here. Uh, he's been a friend for many years, and he's been very encouraging to kind of, uh, you know, anything that is really raw and that I feel super vulnerable about, I feel really safe getting to bring it to Ryan, and he, he has that ability, and so we have an incredible partnership um, that I'm always so grateful for, and catharsis, this piece would not be what it is if it wasn't inspired by working with Ryan. So anyway, thank you so much for being a person in my life, and uh, here's the last piece. Um, I also realized I forgot to leave my name card out there, so at the end, uh, I have a name card for you if you want it to remember me or go on my QR code for the website, but thank you so much for being here, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week.